So um, divorce law reforms can cover a range of different uh, elements. So divorce law can regulate the grounds for divorce, uh, how property is divided after a divorce between the spouses, child custody, child support payments, maintenance or alimony payments. So there's a range of elements here that legislators can play with. And I think one important lesson from research in labor economics is that each of these elements will have, first of all, direct effects on, for example, the number of divorces immediately after these elements are uh, changed. But also there's a range of uh, other outcomes that are socially relevant that can be affected by these reforms and affecting not only the families who go through a divorce, but also uh, families, uh, marriages that remain intact, and even uh, single individuals who may be thinking about you know, planning their marriage and family decisions in the future. So for example, uh, child support, not child uh, custody arrangements, and whether you know, custody is automatically given to one parent versus uh, favoring joint custody by both parents. These types of uh, reforms can affect uh, not only divorce decisions, but also marriage rates. Uh, they can affect uh, fertility rates, the decision of how many children to have, whether to have children, uh, and they can affect children, of course. Uh, so I think it's important for legislators to, to um, be aware of the research, the research that has tried to, to document these effects so that they take into account not just the immediate direct effects but also you know, the whole range of uh, dimensions that will be affected. For example, allowing for unilateral, you know, easy, uh, cheap divorce with no separation requirements. This um, has been shown to increase the divorce rate immediately for marriages that were already ongoing, uh, but in the longer term, it may reduce marriage rates, but actually increase the quality of, uh, of marriages, such that in the future, divorce rates may actually go down. Uh, perhaps fertility will fall as a result of uh, unilateral divorce laws, uh, but if the marriages that are formed and the sector of children are of higher quality, perhaps child, child outcomes in the long term will actually uh, improve. Um, and there's a whole range of other decisions and outcomes that may be affected, such as saving rates, the decision of uh, single and married people how much to um, save, as it has been shown to be affected by divorce legislation, labor supply, as we discussed, particularly by uh, women, and even social outcomes that are not so directly economic, such as um, family conflict, even domestic violence and abuse has been shown to be affected by um, divorce laws. For example, some studies has, have found that uh, uh, countries that introduced unilateral divorce experienced a drop in uh, the rates of domestic violence among married couples directly affected by the, by the reform. Um, so I guess the lesson here is that uh, labor economics research can inform legislators about the whole range of potential effects that uh, divorce legislation can have, not just on the obvious uh, dimensions such as family information and dissolution, but also uh, labor market outcomes and uh, a whole range of other outcomes such as uh, you know, long-term outcomes for children, for example.